Hello, welcome back. Um, so I thought I would do a little vlog for the reading rush. Pardon the sweat, I just biked home and the mess. Um, I just got back from work and I thought I would kind of fill you guys in on what I'm going to be reading this reading rush. And it's going to be about five books, I think, in total. So give me one second and I'll go grab everything. This is weird. I'm vlogging with my camera. Well, I'm vlogging for the first time, but I'm vlogging with my phone instead of my camera. So I have to get into the habit of looking here for the camera and not staring over here because I don't see anything over there. Okay, one second. Hello. So that's a little bit better. Um, my plants, it's my little Latin haul. I'm gonna talk about those maybe at some point during this vlog, but okay, so let me look at the prompts actually. So I have the reading rush prompts here and I'm just gonna go through them and then say the book as well. Um, so number one, read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. And for that, I'm actually going on the e-reader and I'm going to read The Farm. Actually, I don't really remember who that's from. Joanne Ramos. Ramos. I'm not sure which. Um, but yeah, it's this one. Um, to my recollection, I think that is, it is green, but I can't really remember, but I think it is. I think it is. Um, I remember seeing it colored when I was online and I don't have like too many, I should say I'm born in May, May 16th. So my birthstone is Emerald, but all of the green books I have are sequels and I can't hop in on book three. So e-reader. And also I just, I have a lot, I tend to forget what I have on here. So I'm trying to rely on my e-reader a little bit more. And because I bike from work and I only really carry a small bag, an e-reader is just a little bit easier to take with me. I am working a full work week, unfortunately. So reading five books, I got a really, sh it's all about strategy this year. Prompt number two, read a book that starts with the word the. For this, I have the Poet X. I have read this before on audio and in its regular verse, just in the book, but I really wanted to reread and I just thought this was a great time to do it. Just purchasing the Latin Hall and I just, it just, I really want to reread. I'm actually going to read it this time um, because I don't think I have the um, audiobook anymore. But if you haven't read this, I would absolutely suggest read the audiobook or read along with the audiobook because it's amazing. But it, it's amazing, full stop. Prompt number three read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. For this one, again, I'm going to turn towards my e-reader, and this is also going to follow the prompt number five to read a book completely outside of your house. Um, so I will be reading, and then there were none. Um, ooh, I don't know what it just went through there. By Agatha Christie. Um, so I'm actually reading this on audiobook while I do my office work. So I was able, I had quite a bit of office work to do this morning. Um, I was scheduling my team and stuff, so I was able to get about three hours of the audiobook done. It's only six hours in total, so I might even be able to tack on just an extra little book if I can get through it. Um, but that's the one I'm reading. I have seen the movie before, but full transparency, I have also read the book. I just, I don't have a ton of books. I have a lot of books that turned into shows or movies that I haven't seen, but I really did not have anything on my shelf that I saw the movie or TV show and then picked up the book. I tend to work in the reverse. So I just chose the one I really liked. And personally, I think that's the best Agatha Christie novel. Um, prompt number four is to read the first book you touch. This is actually going to be a surprise book that I'm going to do on the weekend. So technically there will be six books, but I'm going to pick that book probably Saturday, start it Saturday and finish it Sunday. Um, book number six, read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. So for that, I'm going to pick up Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. Where is 
Actually, I have the sleeve. There we go. So, I'm reading Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. Um, my hair just, it just, it doesn't look good right now. Um, everyone kind of knows my weak point absolutely is science fiction, but I did read Skyward. I really enjoyed it. I'm just realizing now I still have this in this entire time. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to continue on, read Star Sight, and hopefully enjoy it because sci-fi still to this day is my crux in reading, but I really want to rectify that. Also, I would say romance, and I did choose a romance novel just to get buck wild on this reading rush um and i used that i was trying to decide between science fiction and romance and ultimately i did land on science fiction um but i did kind of forward that momentum in for prompt number seven which is read a book that takes place in a different continent than which you live i chose the royal we which is a romance novel i've heard a lot about it but i also just saw that the second book came out in that series. Um, so I am currently, it's Monday, and I'm halfway through my Agatha Christie audiobook. And on my 15, I actually left before lunch today and had a bit of an early day. Um, on my 15, I was able to read 5% of this one and I'm about to make my lunch and kind of continue to pick away at this. I'm trying to get the hardest out of the way first which of course would be romance and kind of reward myself. So I think I'm going to do romance then Poetex. I do love Sanderson so I don't think he'll be too much of a struggle but I want to start the week harder and finish fast. That's my plan and I will update you guys I guess at the end of the day to show you where I've landed but it says I have about nine hours left here and having left early I'm just going to have lunch and read and eventually stop to walk my dog and maybe have some. I have a couple of bananas I'm thinking of freezing and putting in a blender for like um sort of ice cream theme, but it's really great. So I might do that in a little bit. Okay, bye. Hello, so I just, <coughs> pardon me. I just read a quick 20 pages of the Royal We, and I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I left home early from work because my throat was feeling very tickly and uncomfortable. Um, and I'm just trying to be really diligent where we're at and the time for in with the pandemic going on. So hopefully it gets better. If not, if it doesn't get any better, I'll be staying home from work tomorrow, <coughs> which is too bad. It is one of those things where it's kind of hard to tell. I did obviously call our health services and speak to them and they said to obviously monitor it. I haven't been traveling across the borders. <coughs> I haven't been to any big cities recently. So it's pretty unlikely that I have anything, but I'm just feeling kind of <coughs> under the weather, <coughs> under the weather right now. But I have some lozenges, I'm going to do that. Probably take out my contacts and just keep reading. If not, take a little nap, because I'm just not feeling great. Mm -hmm. Um, so I didn't wind up going to work <coughs> and a lot of yesterday I just wound up sleeping so I didn't get quite as much reading done. I'm going to see the doctor at 9 or 9.30 so until then I just thought I would pop on here, give you a quick update and then do some reading. So yesterday I landed at 22% of the Royal We. Um, so far, it's fine. I just finished part one. I'm a little struggle bug when it comes to romance. What can I say? Um, 
there's like there's tropes that I see in this book that I personally it is best going there. There's tropes that are in this story that personally they're just that's not for me. Um it's tropes that I find tend to be more common in romance um, used as justification women directly attacking women it'll be suggestions of why our protagonist is better suited for the prince and usually it's the reasoning is in contrast to a woman that's already in his life and i just don't think that's necessary Women sport women. It's just, it's literally the most unromantic thing to me. And the quickest way to turn me off of our main character is for her to say, oh, he disappeared for two weeks out of our Oxford classes. I know why he doesn't want to go to the fucking, the sock hop because Isabel or Bella or whatever his current girlfriend's name is, she's gonna uh, screech at him. She's gonna ask him questions as if that's not like a normal response. If your boyfriend disappeared for two weeks, I'd probably ask questions too. But she's like, oh no, I'm a cool girl. I'm gonna go get you drunk instead and ask no questions because I understand you. And listen, that's great if you understand him. That doesn't mean you have to attack another female or have your rhetoric speak down to another woman to make yourself feel better about your relationship with him and that's just that's my two cents of it women support women because you know what your sisterhood will last long past your divorce and i just don't think all these ladies are keeping that in mind that bond will not break and you know what when mr prince won't put down the toilet seat after you've asked him for the fifth time that week, I bet you wish you kept Isabella in your corner. I surely bet you did. But you know what? You're shitting all over the sisterhood and I don't like it. Um, so we just entered into part two. Our two main characters just got together and united and that's wonderful, but I am struggling a little bit. It is a quick read, it's an easy read, but when you're really disinterested, like I'll read five pages and then think like, what else could I do with my time? So um, I think as well as the Royal We, I'm going to start Star Sight today. Um, Cause why not? They're very different, they contrast well. So I know what's gonna happen already. I know I'm just going to read Star Sight instead, but I'm going to take uh, well, I'll probably take my e-reader to the doctor's office because I'm in Canada. And it's usually a long wait to see a doctor. Um, so I'll take my e-reader, try to chip away at a few more pages, but I'm going to read while I drink my coffee. And um, yeah, that's basically my update. Monday, I got through half of Agatha Christie. 25% of the Royal We, and today my goal is to finish the Royal We, these damn buses, and get a good portion of the way through Star Sight. So, I'm not really a TV watcher or anything like that, so I don't foresee it being a super struggle when I'm feeling like really gross and sick at home. When I'm confined to these four walls, there's not much else I'm going to do besides read. So, going to get started on that.